Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. All right, today is not a great weather day, that's for sure, but this afternoon does look better than what we're seeing right now. Let's take a look at live Pinpoint Doppler 12, and you can see we are inundated with the greens and the yellows, the specks of yellow representing where the uh, heavier downpours are as we take you into the uh, Newport area. Of course, the chowder cook-off going on today. Catherine and I plan to be out there at our booth at around, I believe, noontime. Now, even though the rain is really coming down right now, the rain becomes a little more scattered this afternoon. And keep in mind, there are also tents out there, so there are places where you can take cover from the showers. And over here at the URI campus in Kingston, we're also seeing a soaking of rain. But much like Newport, I do expect the showers to become more broken into the afternoon. It's not a day where the rain completely turns off and the sun comes out or anything like that, that, but at least it's improving over what we're seeing right now. One of the issues is the movement of the showers. It's moving from south to north, but eventually the entire line will shift out to the east, and that's the tricky part of the forecast. How long does that take? We do have some showers redeveloping here in Connecticut and off to our south. If that keeps happening, then we hang onto the rain a bit longer. If they kind of turn off, then we can turn off the rain sooner. So the bottom line is the threat of showers this afternoon, but not quite as much rain as we're seeing right now. And certainly already a lot has fallen. The streets are wet. A lot of those uh, ball fields are soaked. Temperature right now, 57 degrees. Winds are out of the east southeast at 13 miles an hour. A little breezy here at the south shore, about 29 miles an hour in New Bedford, 24 miles an hour in Newport, and 36 miles an hour for a wind gust on the block. Expect similar gusts throughout the afternoon. You could see a stronger gust under any developing thunderstorm. I don't think we see a whole lot of thunderstorms today, but one as possible. A high surf advisory in effect along the south shore. Uh, again, the uh, winds coming in from the southeast fairly strong, so that will push the water up towards the coast a bit throughout the afternoon and evening. Overall, though, it's not a great beach day. And temperatures right now in the mid-50s. 57 Providence, 57 New Bedford, and Westerly now up to 63 degrees. So our satellite picture does show where the showers kind of die away. Out towards New York City, portions of western Connecticut, the showers really tapering off. And that's what we want to get into. It'll take a while to get here, but I think by late morning in the afternoon we get into this more scattered and broken activity. In fact, we can time things out going hour by hour, 8 o'clock in the morning, some showers and downpours around. By 11 o'clock, I think some of the downpours and the steadier bands of rain start to break up. That will especially happen by the afternoon. Notice how a lot of the showers become broken, but the threat of a downpour or thunderstorm is still there. Same story into the evening with a threat of a shower or thunderstorm, but again, I think the majority of the time it will not be raining at this point, although even though it's not raining heavily, we may be stuck with some drizzle and mist, things of that nature. And then tomorrow, notice at 5 o'clock tomorrow, just some specks of green. That means tomorrow, the much better of the next two days, I think the majority of your entire Sunday will not be raining temperatures back into the 70s. In terms of rainfall amounts, well, the bulk of it will come down this morning, most spots receiving between about an inch and an inch and a half, and some spots already uh, getting close to this right now with that heavier band of rain pushing through this morning. So in terms of flooding, I think, you know, some localized street flooding as possible. That should be about it. And as we take a look at our uh, forecast for this afternoon, less frequent with the showers, temperatures in the uh, upper 60s, and out on the water, small craft advisory in effect. That's for Narragansett Bay. We have a gale warning in effect outside the waters of Narragansett Bay for places like Rhode Island Sound. Seven day future cast shows tomorrow's not bad. 73, a chance of an isolated shower. Unsettled for the work week, Monday and Tuesday only. Low 60s with some showers around Wednesday. It's still unsettled, mid 60s with the chance of some showers Thursday and Friday finally starting to improve things. So at least this afternoon, not quite as bad as what we're seeing right now. And tomorrow looks okay. Okay, thank you, Pete. Yep. Now for a look at what's happening out there this weekend, WPRI.com.